exorbitant number of the prisoners are convicted of heresy, either by their own voluntary or exhorted confession, or upon the evidence of witness. Our day is fixed by the chief inquisitor for a gold delivery, which is called by them an auto de fe or act of faith, and which is always upon a Sunday. A caveat against the pretender being a short but impartial history of some of the assassinations, murders, and inhumane slaughters committed by Pappas by J. Morley, 1723. Dunham waited in hope for the next auto de fe. And after a length of time, he was roused one night by the goalers bearing lights. Having dressed himself and put on a black garment striped with white lines and a pair of drawers, which they had brought for him, he was led into the galleries, gallows for hanging, where he joined about 200 other prisoners, all ranged against the walls. They were mostly colored men. Well, let me say that again. They were mostly colored men, there being only about 12 white persons amongst the 200. The Inquisition revealed in its origin policy, cruelty in history in Spain, <laughs> Portugal, and France by Reverend Thompson Timpson. When we look closely at the auto de phase, Thompson degraded and cruel ruffians to the most disgraceful deeds. Laurent, a secretary of the Court of Blood, says of this massacre in her book, Critical History of the Inquisition, that they slew and mangled their victims, casting many while still alive into the fires. The Negroes and the vilest rabble had kindled at the church doors to which they kept constantly adding fuel on Monday, the numbers of the mob were considerably increased from the surrounding villages. The massacre and butchery of the new Christians was continued. The houses were broken, whole families being murdered. The merciless wretches dashed out the brains of the infants against the wall. Pregnant women were thrown from windows on pikes of those below. Women were outraged and virgins were violated. Such were the horrors committed in the capital of Portugal in that day. Twelve centuries of Jewish persecution, a brief outline of the sufferings of the Hebrew race in Christian lands by Gustav Perlson, 1898. So in the massacre of 1506 in Portugal, according to the author, they slew and mangled their victims while casting many still alive to the fire Negroes Negroes the writer even calls this quote the massacre and butchery of the new Christians remember it was the black Portuguese Jews who were converted to be new Christians so what was the name of this particular massacre Vitimus do Massacre Judaico in 1506 in Rossio Square, right outside the Church of St. Dominic, as the writer confirms. The mob goaded into a roaring frenzy, headed by John Moco and Freddie Bernardo, both monks of the Order of St. Dominic, who fiercely incited the rabble of at least 10,000 degraded and cruel ruffians to the most disgraceful deeds. Shalom, family. It's your brother, Bernard. This habit of the penitent and sackcloth of condemned heretics is to be hung up in the church of that parish where they dwell. That these sort of ensigns may be a monument to keep the everlasting remembrance of the impiety. For the name of the heretics and the reasons of their condemnation are to be inscribed and renewed on them. The History of the Inquisition by Limbrock Philippus 1633-1712
So during the altar of faith or acts of faith, the clothes of the convicted dead were hung up in the churches on display as a memorial of the execution and condemnation. One example of the hanging of dead victims' clothing and the curation of the bones of the Negroes during the order of phase takes us all the way to Rwanda, where in 1994, the genocide of more than 800,000 Hutus and Tutsis took place. One of the lesser known facts about the genocide is the role that the Catholic Church played. In an article by The Guardian labeled Rwanda Genocide, Catholic Church sorry for the roles of priests and nuns in killings, the author wrote. The Catholic Church in Rwanda apologized on Sunday for the church's role in the 1994 genocide, saying it regretted the actions of those who participated in the massacres. We apologize for all the wrongs the church committed. We apologize on behalf of all Christians for all forms of wrongs were committed. The statement acknowledged that the church members planned, aided, and carried out the genocide, in which more than 800,000 ethnic Tutsis and moderate Hutus were killed by Hutu extremists. In Rwanda, in the territory of Natarma, a church has been immortalized because of the brutal slaughter that took place there during the Rwandan tragedy. This Catholic church just like the out of the phase of the past has the victims, the Negroes, clothing hanging from the rafters as a memorial and also an ossuary of the bones of the said victims. Now, you can only imagine the grisly barbaric scene of clothes hanging from the ceiling of the church of the people that they helped kill. And imagine the emotions that someone would feel if they came across such a grisly, grisly scene. Well, a sister, a musician, found herself in this exact same situation when visiting none other than St. Domingo Church. The site of the burning of the Negroes at the doors and upon walking through the doors of the church she was surprised to see that the clothes of the Negroes were still hanging on the ceiling of the church to this very day and this is what happened next Es importante perceber que en la iglesia. Es en inglés. En inglés, sí. Yes. I only speak English. You speak English? Yes. Okay. Thank you. It's very beautiful. Thank But you. as you know, the church is a place where we can play with authorization. With what? What authorization? With authorization. Yes. yes. Oh, it's okay. very controlled. I see. Yes, yes, yes. That's my church. Mm -mm. Yes. When I get the spirit, okay. when I feel the Holy Spirit, I play my instrument. My dear. It's not a respect for the other people. Oh, I don't care about the other people because you guys have no respect for black people. <laughs> This place, <laughs> you guys have no respect for black people no, at no, all. No, the okay. fact that you're still standing. I would like to, to, to demand something. What would if, you like? If you want to stay 
No, I don't want to stay. I just wanted to play a tone in homage okay. to my ancestors, and then I'm leaving this hell. This is hell. No, you guys are going to be destroyed. <laughs> Down. <laughs> no, no, I will not be shushed. No, I'm leaving. I don't live here. I'm not from your country. I don't put up with this. I have no respect for you at all. <laughs> like I have respect for you. I don't have respect for you. <laughs> None at all. Like a zero. <laughs> the fact that you're in this institution exactly. with the history of this place and what it did to black people in the it's continent and you still here? Me. I don't want to hear it. No, you're being challenged. This is coming from the most high. I'm speaking with the authority of God who you say you believe, but you don't believe because if God is saying this place is going down. <laughs> Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt land. Tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. <laughs> That's a spiritual work you know nothing about. So good, thank you. Now, of course, it will be by the hand of the Most High Yah that the nations who have committed these heinous acts of violence against the house of Judah, that they will be judged. And knowing this, it's in the best interest of those nations to begin blessing the house of Judah instead of cursing it before it's too late.